Have you ever thought about just quitting your job, making a new life, running away to live in your dream city? I did this. One day I just decided I didn't want to waste another second not living somewhere that made me feel beautiful, inspired, alive. And so five years ago, I moved to Italy. If you've seen past episodes of this show before, you'll know that I'm in a different country every single month. I'm insatiably curious, but I think I've met my match in this tiny little Italian village. I met a guy called Federico through Airbnb, and the things he told me, the, the passion and intensity with which he spoke, the way he sees the world, Honestly, I've never met someone so adventurous. You know, like to put myself into, uh, you know, into challenges, real yeah. challenges, not just sit, be, sit there and just wait for the salary to come. I mean, come on, life is more than that. I mean, yeah. you, know, you, you, you I want myself, my skills to, to do, you know, to, to generate something, you know, yeah. my passion to generate something, not just being like an employee, you yeah. know, like why? Life is short. So I was up in Portofino for the weekend and to be honest I've always lived in the south of Italy and avoided places like Cinque Terre because they've become super touristy but I had a look on Airbnb and found this apartment in a village I'd never heard of before called Camogli and the host was this guy Federico. Before I'd even arrived we're writing to each other online and uh, he invites me to have dinner the first night with his mother in their house in Genova. <laughs> I discovered that this guy is intense. I mean, he goes skiing in Kazakhstan. He recently went on a family holiday to Pakistan. His father is currently trekking in Mongolia. He once took a girlfriend for New Year's in Iran and spent months with native tribes in Papua New Guinea. And you cannot actually for sure reduce a country with, or countries with so many centuries of history and culture. This is so stupid, so ignorant, yeah, yeah. so unfair. So but you have to go there to explore and to see yeah. what is around. Yeah. But what visit Pakistan, visit Central Asia, <laughs> visit every country you think is where, just go. Because you will have, that actually will be the best travel experience you will ever have. Yeah. It will not be fake, like if you go to many other countries we will not mention, it's yeah. like a fake experience. Yeah. It's just for tourists or it's actually, you know, modeled on our taste. Yeah. This is not the traveling. Traveling is yeah. living with the people and with the local people and experiencing what they do and seeing actually all the treasures that are, that are around and actually finding, finding them yourself, not even following a guide. Your friends must say to you, what about fear? I've never felt for a second unsafe because there are many Taliban's and many actually incursions from, uh, from Afghanistan. Yeah. So yes, of course, you, you know, the first time you see Kalani Bob next to you, but it's a bit part of the adventure. And anyway, everything is so efficient and then you talk to the local people, everybody was so extremely kind. Again, you have this feeling all the time, when they see you, they're so proud that you are there. They like you, they like you, they, they don't think the first thing I hate you because you are you are a Christian, you are like, uh, you are not, uh, I don't know, like uh, one of the, uh, you're not from the region or whatever. Yeah. People always like see you and with fascination and, and empathy, you know, because yeah. they, you, because they, they, for one basic thing, I mean, you come to their country to visit them and you pay a tribute actually to their country, so they like you. And it's like instantly, you haven't even said one word and already there is this, there is this Strong. rapport, this friendship there yeah. because they, they say to you, wow, thank you for, for, for being curious. Don't worry about me, I'll be just fine. I know you're gone but not for long, you'll be back someday, I know that for sure. Never start moving on. This is why I love this place because this market, this market is frequented by locals. And I've lived in Italy for many years. You don't know how rare that is. I mean, you can find these these beautiful markets in in Florence, in Rome, on the Amalfi Coast, in Cinque Terre. But 
do the locals go there anymore? No, because because uh, the produce is too expensive. Because the the, the people uh, who run the stalls, I mean, they're just uh, looking to not cheat the tourists, but you know, make a good sale. And uh, and you know, they're not they haven't got repeat business. They just they're just serving these big like cruise ships where it's like mass tourism, hundreds of people uh, coming uh, to to a market just to buy some souvenir. Whereas here. Here, I mean, there's there are old women buying their vegetables to 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 make lunch. There are families who are who are buying uh, dresses for their little bambina. You know, it's it's real life, and I tell you, like it's it's different. The 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 the, the atmosphere is so different. You see, you see, this is the thing. People say that gentlemen don't exist anymore. I'm, I've been fighting with Federico ever since I met him. Okay, okay, it's because not he, he won't let me carry my tripod. I'm like, I travel all over the world with this, always on my own. He's like, no, no, I can't let you do it. It's like with the, you have like the galantuomo, no? The, the, the gentleman in Italy. But I said, I said to her, if I, my father says that this is the most important thing. So <laughs> if he, he, and he says I'm not galantuomo enough, so that's why I have to do he it. He does? Yeah. What, what does he expect? He expects uh, to be girls to be like princesses. I mean, he said, yeah. so you really have to treat them, no matter how they are, no matter, you know, yeah. how they behave or whatever, you have to treat them that way. So, I think it's the old Italian way, but <laughs> maybe it worked, it worked with him, so... Yeah, know, yeah, it did. It your, ma is, your mother is beautiful, in intelligent, kind, yeah, so maybe he's, maybe he knows something. Huh? Yeah, exactly, so yeah. I try to get his uh, teaching. <laughs> Many people are rich and wealthy, but they don't have experiences. You can do many, many studies and whatever. Sure, this actually gives you something, but then you have to experience it. So experience is the real, uh, the real wealth. In terms of traveling, Federico certainly goes to the extreme, but I don't think you need to go off to war-torn countries or take unnecessary risks. I think his philosophy is really much more about the idea that we live in this incredible world and we owe it to ourselves and other cultures to learn about each other. I, I think, you know, if we all just opened our eyes and, and, and tried something foreign without prejudice, we might find that we have more in common with each other than we could ever have imagined. Hi, I'm just procrastinating because I hate packing. I'm packing for the next trip and, and I really like it. Come with me. Um, it's going to be a really good one the next episode. I'm in a new country. Uh, you just need to, we well, don't need to, but you could subscribe to Travel Hub she could do here and then if you want to watch more episodes of Hooked Up then click here and uh, if you just want to go out and like have your own fun and make your own adventure I mean why not why just watch me do it like do it yourself then you can click here uh, yeah that's it I mean you could always like the video as well I always watch the likes and and just think oh I hope people don't hate it but um but yeah thanks for watching this one and um I'll see you next time. Bye.